hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and by the way check out this top you know <laughs> check it out please like yo it makes me have such huge boobs and i don't have boobs like that in person so i love the top yeah i mean who needs surgery when you can just have something like this to make you feel like yeah <laughs> But yeah, um, if you're new here, please do consider subscribing to my channel as I post content on entrepreneurship, LGBT and lifestyle. I feel like I should flirt a little bit, you know? I mean, I look good. <laughs> I look good, you know? I look good. I have to flirt a little bit. I look good. Hey. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, um, today's question is from uh, Namibia. I, it's a country that I've always wanted to visit, so I'm super excited about it, as well as just a good question generally, to be honest. Namibia, for those who don't know, Namibia is in Southwest Africa, I think, and they have this national park, the Eto Etosha National Park, that's how it's pronounced. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, to be honest. But yeah, I would definitely like to visit Namibia and Etosha Park is one of the parks or one of the places that I would definitely uh, like to visit as well when I finally have the coins, you know, to visit Namibia. And I wouldn't have those coins to visit Namibia if you guys don't subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, yo, please subscribe, okay? <laughs> subscribe to my youtube channel it makes me happy it's free and obviously you get uh, notifications too when you do uh subscribe so i'm just gonna go straight to the question and read it out and then uh reply to to it as usual so today's question reads hello kiki hope you're well i need advice myself and my girlfriend have been together for five years minus one year apart so that's four years we are planning on having a baby. The adoption process in our country is messed up, like it's a lot of work and it takes forever. The artificial uh, process is very, very expensive and I hate the fact that uh, it's not 100%. Being a full-blown lesbian couple, is it wrong if I sleep with a guy to get pregnant? My initial plan is for the guy to masturbate and come in me, not the whole penetrating and position position changing uh, sex but just that he comes in me um that is the question and i love this question a lot because i know that uh there are a lot of people in her position or a lot of people who can identify with the struggle the struggle of having a child or the struggle of starting the family across africa given uh the limited uh support for queer people across the country the laws not allowing us to be ourselves as well as just um we don't have the facilities you understand to help us um have kids and obviously money can be a problem as well so so first of all to begin with yeah there is no law in your country namibia that uh protects same-sex couples uh adopting a child okay i think one of you can adopt the child but not two of you as a couple okay and to all of you watching this who are in the same situation and want to adopt please do make sure you know the law you know what the risks are as far as the law is okay because um it's it's heartbreaking to adopt a child or to think you have a child or you're starting a family and just to have that dream taken away from you especially when you're already used to the child having the child around okay so do please check the law do make sure you're protected by the law or at least be aware that it doesn't allow you to do it so that if, at the end of the day even if you go ahead doing it you know what you're getting yourself into um and secondly you did ask me if it's okay for a lesbian to have sex with a guy uh for the purpose of getting pregnant personally as uh, an lgbtq activist with lived experience as an african as well i'll tell you this uh we experience queerness in a very unique way in a way that can become even uh, complex you know depending on where you are from and what is available to you and also just generally due to the culture and circumstances around us personally i don't think there's anything wrong with having sex with a guy for the purpose of getting pregnant as a lesbian. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't also think that it takes away anything from you from, from you as a lesbian, as far as your sexuality is concerned. You're still a lesbian at the end of the day. However, however, I know that you're uncomfortable with the idea. I mean, who would be? <laughs> as a lesbian, who would be comfortable with the idea? So um, the good news is you don't have to do it. Okay? You don't have to do it. There's another option available for you a very cheap 
option available for you so um what you can do which some of my friends have done it is uh artificial insemination at home okay all you need is a donor and the home kit if you don't have the home kit you can always improvise i have done a bit of reading and a bit of research on this before prior to shooting this video so i'm going to leave a few key links in the description box of this video i should have told you how it's done and what what you need and blah 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 but i would um i would want you to hear from people who have done it and have recorded youtube videos around that or just send you links that are very helpful to you however most of these people who are sharing their lived experiences have done it uh in other countries where um uh, they buy sperm or they get sperm from a sperm bank that's already been screened uh, it's been checked hiv and the rest of them uh, um, uh, and maybe some of them have done the, the screening themselves, like get the guy to the hospital and have them screen or have them te get uh, tested. So what I'm going to emphasize here is this. Please do make sure that uh, whosoever you're getting the sperm from, you have, um, you've had them screened, you've checked every possible uh, disease and, you know, whatsoever that you need to check, as well as just their, their, their health history, family health history as well. Okay. Um, the other thing that I also want to add here is that if adoption, if the law doesn't protect same-sex couples adopting your country, then I'm very much certain that uh, it would not pro it would not protect you as far as um, the relationship between the donor and yourself and your girlfriend is concerned. So go into it knowing the risks. Um, I mean, if you you were telling me about um, having sex with somebody, having them masturbate and come inside you you know it means you already have somebody in mind you already have somebody you trust so that's a good thing isn't it but certainly i'm certain I've, i didn't check this out but i'm certain that if the law doesn't put, uh, protect same sex, same sex couples adopting it would not protect you um the relationship between a donor and uh and um and the recipient and i know for certain that uh some most countries don't even anyways so yes okay so in case anybody is wondering what is artificial insemination at home artificial insemination at home is just basically um when the uh, donor donates a uh, specimen or sperm in a jar <laughs> in a container and uh, the recipient can then uh, use uh, a syringe you know to extract the sperm from the container and um uh, put it in her vagina using uh, the syringe syringe uh, very close to the cervix okay so that's what you can do at home. I know somebody who's done it and it worked for them. I know people who have done it and it's worked for them. So um, the best of luck with this. And I know how difficult it is to start a family in Africa as a queer person. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So um, if there's anybody with any lived experience, please do comment your lived experience. If you, if you have other ideas on how she can get... Um, uh, start start a family with her girlfriend please do comment leave a comment as well generally if you have a good link anyways it, that can help her in this situation please do share because i know that uh, there are a lot of people who are going to listen to this video or watch this video and be like yeah i need help as well or this is going to help me that would be that's going to help me as well so yeah um uh, thank you very much for that question and um i wish you all the best with your girlfriend and guys <laughs> Just one last time to admire my um, endowed chest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, please do consider subscribing or subscribe to my channel and tell a friend and to tell a friend about Bandy Kiki's channel. Okay. And um, basically, until next time. Bye.